What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we've got day two. Well, technically the first day, but it is technically still day two. The end of day two in the World Test Championship. Now, I was unsure if I was going to do daily reviews on you know each day because of rain and complications and shit like that on day one. And I'm still not going to. This is going to be my only day review um, until the end of the test match, I, I think. Mm, I might do, if I wake up tomorrow and there's been a lot of action and there's some good shit to talk about, I'm going to wake up and do daily reviews. But if not, I'm just going to let it go to the end of the test match um, because I'm not a sort of guy to just upload YouTube videos for the sake of, you know, like views and shit like that. Like I'm only going to come on here and talk if I think there's something, you know, good to talk about. And the first day of play, the first bit of play we've gotten from the day, India, of course, um, lost the toss. But they ended up batting first. I don't know why New Zealand didn't want to bat first. Um, well, I can kind of understand, you know, New Zealand don't have any spinners. Um, and the pitch is looking... Mwah! The pitch is... It's one of my... It's one of the best pitches I've watched cricket on in the last few years. Um, obviously, the pitch is wet. Um, but it, it gives a lot more skid to the ball. The ball is swinging a lot. Um, and I'm loving... I'm loving watching cricket on that pitch. But... Footholes are about to start opening cracks. There is about to be some huge footholes for Jadeja and Ashwin to bowl into. New Zealand are not going to win this game um, unless they take seven for in the next, you know, in day three. Um, and they just completely obliterate India. Um, because coming to the end of the test match, uh, those footholes and the cracks are going to be so huge for Jadeja and... Um, uh, and for Ashwin. But hey, let's jump into the scorecard. Rohit Sharma and Shukman Gill opened the batting. They both looked pretty solid early. Um, obviously, Rohit and Shukman, you know, they both put together a really good partnership early. And then Rohit Sharma fell. And then a few deliveries later, Shukman Gill fell. Um, India, uh, India, New Zealand needed that wicket of Sharma early because he was he was pulling it. He was driving it beautifully. Um, he, he hit a beautiful... A, oh, no. Wait. Who was it? No, it was Shutman Gill. Shutman Gill had got a really short ball. I can't remember who it was from, but it was on his offside, and he just stepped over. Whack! Fucking pulled it straight to the boundary. He, You know, most players would leave it or duck under it. He just stepped out of his crease, like straight on, smacked the fuck out of it to the boundary. That was... Yeah, Shutman Gill proved a lot, obviously... Um, but a 28 and 34. If you're India, you, you just need to turn one of these scores into at least a 50 plus. Um, both both times they went out, it just swung away late. Shutman probably didn't need to play at his, um, and Sharma probably the same. I mean, Gills was a little bit difficult huh, because it kind of pitched a little bit shorter than I think he was expecting it to, um, and it was a good catch by BJ Watling. Chest to Teshwa Pajara. It's unfortunate for the Rock, the Wall. It's unfortunate, 8 of 54. It took him like 36 fucking deliveries to get one run. I mean, some, you know, in those sort of conditions, though, that sort of cricket is just not going to stand by for Chiteshwa. Um, you know, you can do that on pitches in India. Um, you can do that in most pitches in Australia. Uh, but in England, it's just so different. You can't, the ball is swinging a lot, especially with all that moisture in the pitch and the bounce. You cannot just block and leave everything. I know that's his style, and I love Pajara how he bats, but when you're in different conditions, especially in India, he's, he just had to adjust a little bit, and I didn't think he did it very early. He looked pretty shaky um, at times, so unfortunate he goes out from a ripping delivery, may I say, from Trent Bolt. The Coley, the skipper, it's good to see the man in form. Um, he hasn't played as much cricket as any of these people over the last year, two years. But, and you know, he has had a little form slump. Not really, but just hasn't scored a ton in a while. Could day three be the day as long as we get cricket? Coley is going to score a century. It's going to be so good to watch. He has started magnificently. Captain Coley, King Coley at the crease. He is playing some great shots. He played some beautiful cover drives that got me very, how do I say this? Very, very tingly feelings inside. <laughs> No, look, he, 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 played, he played some beautiful shots. Um, and Ajinkia Rahane, um, I think he's the most leading run scorer for India um, across the whole World Test Championship. So that's good to see for old Rahane. Uh, Pant still to come. Jadeja still to come. Ashwin still to come. 
All three of those guys can seriously bat. Um, Shami can even swing. Sharma can swing it. Uh, Boomerang, yeah, not so much. <laughs> um, the bowling scorecard, Timmy Southey, none for 47 off 17. Trent Bolt, one for 32 off 12.4. Kyle Jamison, one for 14 off 14. He's been very economical, Kyle Jamison. This pitch has suited him beautifully. He's getting a lot of bounce, a lot of swing. Um, it's a nightmare. It's, it's a serious nightmare to face this man when his line and length is good and he's swinging that ball. He's like 800 foot too. I mean, it's, gee whiz. Colin de Granholm, that mullet is flapping around beautifully. Yet to take a wicket yet, mate. And Neil Wagner, he's um he's bowled pretty loose, but he still took a wicket. Um, one for 28 off 10. So, hey, day three is right around the corner. A draw is looking very likely unless we see a collapse on either New Zealand or in uh, India side. Looks probably unlikely. If there's anyone that I think will win this match from here, it's definitely India. I think they've bat they've started well. Um, but there's probably just not enough time left in the matches there. So, unfortunately, it's probably going to be a draw. It's going to suck. But, hey, fingers crossed we get the next three days are just so clear. We get straight good play. Sunshine in Southampton. Please, England, stop fucking this up for us all. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.